we not good for it now then? We've given Rwanda some £240 million now. For what? And we haven't even secured accommodation for these potential deportees yet. Is it a wonder the Rwandan government offered to give us all of our money back, is it? Because it really doesn't look like we've invested in anything at all, despite claims to the contrary. How can we possibly deport people who have nowhere, it seems, to live once they arrive in Rwanda? Effectively, once put on the plane then, anybody we sent there getting off at the other end could end up literally anywhere and we wouldn't have a clue.